question about just reboots, right? So this is a reboot. I wonder how you guys feel like it's different from the original. Uh, you know, the original was such an iconic show. It, 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 it really existed. Even the framework and the um, structure of the episodes were different. Uh, we, we obviously deal with sort of a case-to-case, -case, a more procedural element to the show, which I think obviously had cases in the original, but I would say that, and and we're uh, not trying to replicate anything. We're just trying to put our own spin and have some fun with it, and I, I would say that's kind of a good a difference. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, the, the original was 30 years ago, so I think there's been enough time in between that we can take on and do a reboot. Yeah, you, know. you know, something I like to say, and I've said it before, is, uh, is you know, we, we can hopefully bring a new audience to the old show, right. whereas uh, we're hoping that some of that old audience comes with us, and I think that's kind of a cool relationship. Yeah. I think we've won over a few fans mm -hmm. this, yeah. this season. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you definitely have. Yeah, yeah. thank you. So, so I know CBS is really big on diversity and inclusion. I mean, your cast is a, a sign of that. Um, I think people think of cultural and, and ethnic diversity, but a lot of times they don't think about veterans in that aspect. And you guys are doing a lot um, for veterans and veterans awareness. How do you think that fits into the whole piece of diversity, the, rep the representation for veterans here? Well, uh, you know, um, the, I, I would have to say we're probably – one of the shows that features Veterans Affairs the most. Uh, it almost feels like every week we're doing a story about a vet, and now we actually have a, a very significant reoccurring character, uh, Shammy, on the show, who is uh, paraplegic and um, ha has dealt with his own issues, his character. So I, I do think um, that's a really cool aspect of the show, and we try uh, to have the real deal on the show as much as possible. And even besides a, a vet who's disabled, you know, we have vet seals work on the show. They teach us how to shoot. They do like the sketchy stuff. And right? a lot of people haven't that haven't been to Hawaii. There are several bases on 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 our island alone. So it's it's a military culture there. So you find yourself. I was you know once we wrapped, I stayed for a few weeks. And I got to go and do a uh, Black Hawk simulator um, just from yeah. meeting guys, yeah. just random guys. Say, hey, you want to come to the base? <laughs> you know. So when we get back, me and this guy are gonna go and do the same simulator. But he's a he's a gunner, his character in the show. So they have a gunner simulation as well. So we're gonna have some good some some fun with the oh, military. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That sounds exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We always. Whenever we talk about the military, we want to thank them for their service and, and for their sacrifice. Absolutely. You guys are doing a great representation of that. Can you give me any uh, tips on what we're, we're going to look for in the upcoming season? Anything exciting going on? I feel like there's always exciting things going on, but... Yeah, we haven't heard yet about season two. We don't know any stories. I will say there might be a new business venture for Rick, but that's all I can say. I might have a, uh, a father character come in. That might be a really awesome, amazing actor that people will love. Like a cla wait a minute, like a classic, like a classic, classic black actor that we know. Oh, let me go through and guess everybody. I <laughs> we'll say who, but we're gonna be, uh, you know, I don't want to jinx it. So we're, we're that gonna, sounds awesome. We're gonna continue to have a lot of great actors from the '80s on the show, and I think it's I think people are gonna dig it.